Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Now let's get to work. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Windows Server 2019 on a virtual machine. And I will also teach you how to troubleshoot a common day zero problem with Microsoft's download application. And when we get to that point, I will explain to you what it is and why it's there. So to begin with, you will need a virtual environment. You can choose whichever one you like. I will be using Oracle's virtual box, which you can see I've opened up here. You will also need an ISO file for the operating system you wish to use for your virtual machine. Now, if you don't know much about virtual machines, uh, briefly, it is what it sounds like. It is a virtual computer running on top of your computer's operating system without affecting it in any way except that it does share real physical resources that your PC has. So for example, if you have 16 gig of RAM and you assign 2 gig of RAM to your virtual machine, then your real PC will have 14 gig of RAM to use and your virtual machine will be using those two gig that was loaned to it. And this is a good way to create multiple machines using different operating systems and even how to create entire servers running on your network when in fact they are simply virtual, that is to say logical and not physical, and they still perform their duties on your network yet you only need to have one physical PC to host all these virtual PCs or virtual machines, if you will. So what you'll need is a virtual environment. You can download VirtualBox from Oracle for free and you will need the ISO file for the operating system you wish to use. And for this uh, video, we will be using Microsoft Server 2019 and you can get that from the Microsoft website for free and simply download it to your default download file. So to begin with we open our virtual environment and we click on new. Now here we are prompted to make some decisions. We must name our virtual machine, choose an ISO image, that is the ISO file uh, for the image of the operating system that the virtual machine will use the type that will be. We can choose a number of different types of operating systems. Uh, we, we can build a Linux system if we want to, Solaris, IBM, etc., and so on. Even some other type of system if it's not listed here. And then we want to choose a version. And again, since we're using Microsoft Windows uh, Server 2019, we don't want the regular Windows 64-bit. We want to use other Windows 64-bit. So let's go ahead now and name our virtual machine and I will simply call mine my serve 19. Now for the ISO image I've downloaded the image already to my download file here it is and I will simply copy and then paste it in here. Now when you paste in a file this way you get the entire path which is what we want and we want the entire path because we want our uh, virtual environment to be able to find the ISO file so that it can install it on our virtual machine but notice we have this little red symbol here that's telling us that something is wrong and I'm going to show you what that is. So when you copy a path Windows will automatically insert the word file colon with three backslashes. You have to get rid of these in order to have a legitimate path to the file. And of course your path may use a different letter for your drive but then it will likely say users, your name, downloads, and then the ISO file name. And so all of this looks good and I will click Next. Now we have to choose a username and a password. So I'm going to go ahead and call this admin19. 
I'll click the little I so I can see what the password's going to be. And I will call the password, how about WinServe19. And this will also be WinServe19. So there we go. WinServe19. So all of that looks good. And you can leave these things unchecked. Click Next. Now here we want to loan real resources to our virtual machine. So these are the real resources of our PC that this is all running on. And for Windows, you typically want to have two CPUs at least. And you can leave the memory right here at 2048 megabytes. And we do want to have a button pushed here for create a virtual hard disk and we can use the default value of 50 gig. And again, this is 50 gig virtual hard disk space, but this is how much space we are using from our actual hard disk space on our real PC. So I click next and then finish, and then the virtual machine will start up automatically. Now here is where the day zero glitch or problem with a Microsoft's uh, download software comes in. And so everything is working. Mouse, keyboard have been integrated. It's going to try to set up for the install for Windows Server 2019, but we will likely get a pop-up telling us that it cannot do it. And I'm going to explain to you why this is. And there it is. Microsoft license terms cannot be found. We simply click OK, click X, and then we want to push this button here to power off the machine. We don't want any of these other things uh, indicated or pushed, just this one here. And so we're going to turn off the server, and you can only change settings when it, your virtual machines are turned off. So I'm going to go to settings here. And what I'm going to show you here is storage. And I want you to notice this here. It says our controller is on a floppy drive. This is the day zero glitch or flaw in the download uh, software for Microsoft. And the reason that this exists, even though probably nobody uses these hard plastic uh, three and a quarter inch floppies anymore, is because the IEEE requires that many uh, tech manufacturers still support legacy form factors and legacy systems. This is why on a layer two switch, for example, you will find things like FIDI and token ring for VLANs. Uh, those are old topologies that we typically don't use anymore but they must still be supported just in case uh, we encounter them in the real world. So to troubleshoot this problem, all we have to do is click on it and then right click, choose remove attachment. So now the controller of our virtual machine will not be looking for a floppy drive that doesn't exist. It will go right to MyServe19 which is on our virtual hard disk. And if I go to system here, I can even uncheck floppy just to make sure that our virtual machine does not even look for a floppy drive. And you can leave optical checked if you want to. There is also no optical drive on our virtual machine, but it's okay to leave this checked if you want to do that. The important thing is we want our boot order to show hard disk at the very top or in the first position and we do not want this checked so uncheck floppy so I will click OK now when I go back and I click start my serve 19 my virtual machine should be able to begin installation of Windows Server 2019 with no further issues and we won't go all the way through all of the installation because it actually takes several minutes. And there it is. 
So we are able now to begin the installation of Windows Server 2019 to turn our virtual machine into a Windows Server. So here you want to choose your language, a time and currency format, etc., keyboard, etc. I will choose English and English because that's what I use. And simply click Install Now. And there are a couple of more windows to go through, and I'll show you those uh, before it starts actually doing the install, uh, which we won't be actually watching because it takes several minutes. We can actually get rid of this little side window now. So this is your virtual machine window right here. Now, right here, you want to choose Windows Server 2019 standard eval with the desktop experience, okay? So you want to choose this and not this, because if you choose this, you will only have the command line to use. But with the desktop experience, you end up with a desktop GUI, and it's just a little bit easier uh, to navigate when you have something that normalizes the data. It's something we're all familiar with, the basic Windows desktop. So I will click Next, accept the terms. Now here, what I like to do is choose Custom, and the only reason I do this is so I can uh, verify by sight that we really have created a virtual disk of 50 gigabytes. It's actually really there, and uh, I'm not going to make any changes to it. I just want to you know, visually verify that it's there, and I will just choose Next. And now our Windows files will begin installing on the virtual machine. And so that is how you set up a virtual environment and spin up or create a virtual machine running Windows Server 2019 and of course how to troubleshoot that little problem. And so if you like this video and you want to learn more IT skills, you can always visit my website at ccnaultimatelabs.com and maybe sign up for one of my courses which I host on Udemy or maybe purchase some of my handsome looking merch and anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I thank you for watching.